Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to a new build today. Welcome to everyone and especially the new people. If you're new here, I put out at least two Sims videos a week, sometimes more depending on what's going on. And lately I've been doing two builds a week. Uh, that might change the hint to some people that, that follow me regularly. I'm considering doing something else. Um, but I, unsure right now. I don't want to commit yet, but I, I have something that I'm thinking about doing. But in any case, um, yeah, I put, put out a couple of videos a week. And so I hope you guys will check out the channel, stick around, check out the channel and all that good stuff. And for today, we have kind of a very large build. This is a hotel called Colors Seaside Hotel. And it has six rooms on each floor and it has three floors of rooms. And then the first floor is a whole bunch of hotel stuff. And as you can probably get an idea by the beginning of this and the name, the whole colors thing kind of gives it away. It's all about color and this is inspired actually by a hotel that we have locally where I live I live in a resort town I live in a tourist town so which oh by the way I absolutely love I have people ask me that every now and then people that find out that I live in a tourist town and they ask you know what do you like do you like it do you hate it and all of that I think for me personally I absolutely love it I have absolutely talk to people that totally hate it. So I think, I think it's kind of like you love, hate it. I, some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, it, it does come with a lot of tourists when you live in a tourist town. So, so that's a thing. And there's a lot of tourist traffic and there's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing on the roads and, and things like that, you know, during tourist season and everything. But to me, the benefits far outweigh having the tourists around here. And we do have some issues with tourists and stuff that, that, you know, you're, you're going to have periodic we're one of those towns that has uh, some spring break type activity and stuff too because we're a beach town and all of that and and so it, we do see some problems for sure but to me the benefits far outweigh because our taxes are lower which is a plus and also because there's a lot of entertainment and we get the benefits of just being in a tourist town. Like if I go down the beach where I live, I feel like I've gone on vacation. If I go down there and spend some time and yet it's where I live, but yeah, I don't have to go very far. And it's, it's like I've gone on vacation somewhere because it's a whole tourist area, you know? And one of the hotels happens to be extraordinarily colorful. And this hotel is definitely inspired by it. The, the, back of the hotel, I guess front back. I, I did the hotel. I had a lot of decision on what was going to be the front and what was going to be the back because where I live, the colors portion of the hotel, which is the, I, I guess you would say the back of the hotel and it has all of the rooms and every deck and all of the decks and rooms, different colors, everything's different colors, just like this one here. And then the front of the hotel, do you know, I don't even know what it looks like where we live. Actually, I don't know what the front of the hotel looks like, but on this hotel, to me, it almost kind of looks like the back in a way because it's just got the stairs and all this, but I made it very colorful. And so the back actually ends up looking really cool too. I think I, you guys can tell me what you think below. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. But I, I think that I came up with an idea for the back with lights that makes it look just as cool as the front, I think, or maybe reverse those two things. I don't know. I ended up kind of putting it on its side and you guys will see that. So I don't know what to consider the front and back and whatever. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. But the project was kind of interesting because I did want the colors and it was really difficult color wise because we are so limited with swatches in the game. Oh my God. Mm, color wheel. Can I say color wheel, color wheel, color wheel? I cannot say color wheel enough. I really think it's the hugest, hugest downfall of the Sims 4 game. If they put out Sims 5 without a color wheel, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Like I, I'm, I'm just going to scream or something if they, if they try to give us another Sims game without a color wheel, because it's absolutely my biggest complaint as a builder. But okay, enough of that. That just meant that I had a very hard time getting six colors of kind of everything. The, the color thing was really difficult, but I wanted six rooms, six different colors. I was specifically trying to go for the rainbow. And so I wanted a representation for each of the colors and all of that. 
and what I did to do the build. This is a kind of an interesting project because I knew I was going to have six rooms on each floor and one of each color on each floor. And so the way that I did it, and you can get part of that on the speed build is, so I did the first room, started with a blue room, didn't really matter what color I started with, but I, I laid out the floor plan for the room and I knew the, the floor plan was going to be the same on each one. And I, I laid out, you know, I did it in all its colors and all of that stuff. And then basically I copied that room, made the blue room, copied it over to the red and then changed everything I could, switched out items as I could. And I did that for each room. So I ended up with six different room colors, all furnished in different colors. And then, and I had to do the bathrooms too, of course. And so everything is, is different on all six, but they are the same on each floor. So the red room is the same on all three floors and all that. And the way I did that part was I saved a copy to my library in, in, in the, uh, the gallery thing, not actually put it out on the gallery, but my library within the gallery, I saved a copy of each room and bathroom and then copied them to the second and third floors. So I only had to do each room once, which was cool. But yeah, getting getting stuff color wise to match and everything was was quite the challenge, especially for the back, the porches. I have, unfortunately, the purple is the only one that they didn't have just distressed wood for. That was the only color that didn't have distressed wood. And then the green was slightly irritating to me. The green porch as well, slightly irritating because none of the greens match. And I'm kind of a matchy type person. And actually this part of the video, what we're looking at now with the backs, that that's not the final stuff that I used for colors. I really wanted it to have that beachy distressed look. And so right now it's just like plainly painted on the video and yeah, I wanted the beachy distress look. So I had to change that all out, but unfortunately the purple, no distressed wood. I was actually thinking about the few items that I'm dissatisfied with color wise there. I was actually thinking I might possibly for my own game, I might possibly do CC in each of those things. So I have perfectly matched colors, but I, I don't know. I thought about it and I said, well, I don't know if it's really worth it because I feel like, I don't know, no one really, downloads builds that have CC, do they? I, I don't know. I don't usually post stuff builds too often that have CC. I, and I don't know how well they do if they have CC, you know? So, but I thought about it. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so nonetheless, that's how I did this. And right at this part of the video, I've got, I guess where you would consider the, the stairs for each room. So maybe you would call that, or the stairs for each floor rather, maybe you would call that the back of the hotel. And I, I'm deciding to put the entrance on the side now because I don't know, I just couldn't find a, an area in the back. I mean, I guess I could have put it in the center, but it just it just really wasn't working for me. So I thought a side entrance. And then ultimately, ultimately I end up turning the entire hotel. And I think it works okay because we're in this sort of lagoon area. And so now all of the hotel decks actually face looking down the lagoon. And when you go out the other side where the stairs are for each level, it has this cool like color thing. And I also end up putting these little kind of jut outs on each porch. Uh, on, on each walkway, you know, there's, there's a walkway on each level. And I end up putting these little jut outs out with some benches and tables and stuff like that. And there's a good view from that side as well. So it's Sulani. Oh my God, this world is so, so very beautiful. So, I mean, it didn't really matter which way I went. There was going to be a view no matter how I placed the thing, which was awesome. That part was, was really awesome. And then I do this kind of over the top uh, hotel name at the top, which, yeah, you see that sometimes in resort towns. They, they want to have their hotel name there. They do lots of branding. They want to have the big hotel name at the top and everything. So I thought that might be a cool idea. And I end up making it face both sides. So the name ends up being on both sides. And I, I thought that that would work for this as well, since the front and back is sort of a little bit indeterminate because the front is kind of on the side. <laughs> but by the time all is said and done. But yeah, it works. It works. And I played around with it just a little bit, did a little bit of play testing, and I think everything works in it 
I, I don't, I try to build most of the time so that everything in the build works, everything that's supposed to work, work, works. I try to do that. And so even though I do use move objects, generally speaking, I really try to make sure everything works. And I think everything here does. I, I may have, hopefully I didn't miss anything, but yeah, I think everything, uh, I think everything works okay. And it's, of course, going to be on the gallery. This is an expensive build, too. It's one of the larger lots. I should look it up because, of course, I forgot to do that before I started the video because I forget it every single time. Someday, someday, eventually, I'm going to remember that stuff before I actually start the audio recording for a build. But I'm looking it up in the gallery right now so that I can actually tell you guys what it is. And so yeah, very expensive build. So I named it Colors Seaside Hotel and the build is, as of right now, is 557,000. But of course it's it's a, um, what do you call it? It's it's a hotel, so it's not a residence. So yeah, it's, it's obviously a whole lot cheaper or a whole lot cheaper, a whole lot more expensive. And it doesn't really matter if, you know, you're not going to be having a sim buy it because it's a huge hotel. I mean, I guess you could, you could get one of the mods. There are a couple of hotel mods out there. And as a matter of fact, I, I, that's right. I have to tell you about one of the hotel mods. All right. I'm going to tell you about that in a second, but before I get to that, I wanted to mention that this is a hotel. And of course on the vanilla game without mods, we don't have a a way to designate something as a hotel, but this particular build can be designated as a bar, beach, cafe, lounge, nightclub, park, restaurant, or retail establishment. It it checks the box boxes for all of those things. If you try to do retail, I don't have any place that you can sell anything, but it has a couple of cash, re cash registers, which is why it checks the box for for that. But so, yeah, so it checks an awful lot of boxes. It can function as a lot of different things. You'll notice when we get to the screenshots at the end that I have it set as a cafe. And you'll notice that just because of how many people were there, because there were a ton when I took the pictures. And let's see. Oh, yes, that's right. The whole mod thing I wanted to tell you about. My friend Lisa B. Sims on Twitter, she's at Lisa B. Sims one on Twitter. She, she just did a review of a hotel mod because there are some hotel mods out there. And so she reviewed this hotel mod by Kawai Stacy. It's K-A-W-A-I Stacy, S-T-A-C-I, all one word. So this this hotel mod by Kawhi Stacy is basically a resort mod and it does a whole bunch of stuff and so you can use your build as a resort and I thought it was really nice Lisa used my tropical my other tropical resort build what did I call that I think I called it like island of Sulani tropical resort or something really original like that <laughs> It was like four builds back or something like that. And so, yeah, so she ended up using my resort for that, for that review that she did. And she did it for Dazzle Magazine and it's coming out soon. It's, it's in process. It's in editing right now. So it's coming out soon. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. And I'm going to make sure when it comes out to get the information down the down below and I'm also going to link to the hotel mod from Kawhi Stacy for you guys it's it's for those that maybe don't want to look up the link it's https colon slash slash www.kawaiistacymods.com and so it's a really cool mod that allows you to use resorts and hotels actually in the game where they behave like resorts and hotels and, and they have quite a few different features and things. And Lisa's review in Dazzle is going to go over all of that. She does a nice, nice review of the mod. So definitely check that out. Again, I'm going to put the links below down there as soon as it comes out. It's in progress right now. So not out yet, but it'll be out soon. And so I ended up to tell you all about that. We ended up getting to the final photos already. Goodness, time flies, doesn't it? 
I haven't even gotten a chance to tell you about all the hotel's features yet, and I know you've been watching, but I still, I feel like I should still go through them. So we have a check-in desk, we have the hotel's office, which is included because there's a lot requirement for two computer desks as part of Kawhi Stacy's Resorts and Hotels mod. And then we have the restrooms next to the front desk, laundry room for the staff, of course, the deck's lounging spaces that include tables and chairs and also some chess sets. There's the cafe, the snorkel and scuba rental gear area, the arcade slash game room for kids and adults alike, the bar slash lounge slash restaurant area, the kitchen, of course, that goes with that. And then off to the side of the hotel, there's a spa area that includes three floating massage tables areas on a pier type thing where guests can book reservations to get a massage out on the water with each table having a feature where you can see below to the sea below you can see the sea below so they can watch the fish and all that while they get a massage and then finally we have the pier with the docks for canoes and aqua zips plus a diving area and then of course our beach has lounge chairs and towels and a kiddie pool for those parents that don't want to allow their kids in the ocean. There's a bonfire area and even a swing set for the kids. And we also have some floaties in the water for anyone that wants to use them. And I think that that probably covers about everything. As you can see when you, when you see all the images, the area the swimming area is a little bit kind of enclosed to protect the swimmers and all of that so yeah so that's all of it so if you like this joint please don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new here definitely take a look around the channel see if you like what you see and maybe subscribe and stick around and thank you all so much for spending the time with me today and i hope to see you all back again next time bye now